and welcome. If you haven't figured out already, this guide will be focusing on the Abyssal Demon. The Abyssal Demons require 85 Slayer to kill, which is a pretty high requirement, but despite that high requirement, they're actually a very easy monster to kill. They have 124 combat, their hit points is at 150 or 1500, their max, which used to be 8, is now 89, which is still not a big deal. A level 124 monster with a max of 9, that's very sad. But the drops you're gonna really gonna want to look for are the rune chain bodies, the rune full helms, kite shields, whatever they drop. You know, rune you're gonna want to pick that up. The pure essence you're gonna want to pick up the noted pure essence, which adds up a lot in the end. Crimson charms they drop plenty of crimson charms, and the top drops you're really gonna want to look for are the abyssal head, which you can turn into an abyssal minion or hang it in your house, and obviously you're gonna want to look for the whip, which is what really makes Abyssal Demon's worth the task and time to kill. Your armor is going to want to look something like this. You're going to obviously want your Slayer Helm, and don't stack up too much on your defense bonuses. I could probably swap these Torax legs for Dragon Plate legs, but I'm going to keep them in just for the heck of it. If you're deciding over a Rune Defender or over Obi Shield, pick the Rune Defender because you don't need the defense bonuses as much, and the Slash will help you out a lot. Um, the Ring of Slaying, obviously, if you're going to use any other place, or if you have a Berserker Ring or a Ring of Wealth, that's fine too. But wearing it will save you inventory. And if you're going to go to the Demons at the Slayer Tower, you're going to want to use this. So be sure to have your Ring of Slaying with you. Your inventory, you're going to want your Enhanced Excalibur if you have one, a Teleport Out, Placeholder for Charms, Combat Potions or Super or Pure Set, Food, um, bunyips, uh, if you don't have the level for bunyips or unicorn, fill the, or, if you don't have the summoning level for a bunyip or a unicorn, just get a beast of burden and fill it up with a lot of food. Alright, there's three places you can kill the abyssal demons. The first place is the, probably the easiest one to get to and the most well-known one. All you gotta do is go to the slayer tower, and it'll be the first one, or it'll be on the third floor in the farthest back room. Simple. The second one, which is probably easier than the first one, is just going to Curadel's dungeon, and they are right past the blue dragons and the gargoyles, right off to your right. And the last way to get there is to just use the fairy rings. You have to have done part of Fairy Tale Part Two, but you find the, or you go to the other realms of this fairy code ALR, and teleport there. And you gotta try to find a spot where there's not any abyssal walkers because they are aggressive and they'll attack you regardless. But I think there's a spot right over here where there's no walkers really around. Yeah, it's right in here. There's an abyssal demon here, and there's one over here. And you can just alternate between those two. And that's pretty much it for the locations. So for killing them, there's nothing really special that you need to look out for. Um, the only th thing that is really different about them is that they'll teleport you around the room. But other than that, that really doesn't do anything really to slow down anything. As long as you have auto retaliate on, this is a real easy task. The only problem is it's not really AFK. But it's a pretty quick task. It should go fast. And if you're lucky enough to get a whip or anything, it'll be well worth it. So, yeah, I'll show you what I get at the end of this task. Alright, the task is done, and I didn't get too bad of loot, no whip, but I got 960 pure essence, which adds up to 127k, and a lot of herbs, you know, herbs like this, and then rune meds, I got three of three rune meds, and a ferocious ring, and a clue scroll. So, oh, and runes, I didn't even see those. So I'm coming out of here with like 200k, that's not bad at all. Um, obviously you can get a whip, and you can get more rune drops, so yeah this is pretty much what you can expect from an average task of these. I forget how many I had to kill, but it was around like 150ish, so yeah. Well thanks for watching, I hope this video really helped, I hope you now have more information about the Abyssal Demons, and I hope you get a whip and stuff from that. So, remember to rate and comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and come into my clan chat, and I'll see you later.